Plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. They don't have a nervous system. So it's okay to bite into them. And you have a heart. You know where to start. Share this song and be vegan. From now on. Guys, today history has been made. A collaboration that nobody saw coming. A face-off between the two giants of the YouTube vegan world. Well, one of them used to be a vegan, but, you know, close enough. Yes, boys and girls, you read that title right. Today, that vegan teacher went after the one and only Nikocado Avocado. Now, we're no stranger to either of these individuals on this channel. We've studied them both in great detail. But now habitats have collided, and we are seeing a true clash of the titans. Who will come out victorious? Let's find out. Please subscribe. Welcome to class, everybody, and especially to you, Nikocado Avocado. Nikocado Avocado is somebody that I've heard this name going around, and I didn't really know who he was, and people are always asking me to review his channel. They're saying to me, oh, Miss Katie, go there and blast him and give him heck. Um, and yeah, I could, I could do that. Oh yeah, Katie, really? Are you a professional heck giver? What has happened to that vegan teacher since the last time I watched her? It's been months. It seems like she's grown an ego or something. But what I see here is really just an individual who is extremely cruel and sick in the head. So how do you help somebody like that? I don't know. I really don't know what to say. I mean, I took a screenshot here, just like stop this video right when he's eating some broccoli because that's the image I want you guys to think about. I want you to remember that it's important to eat your cruciferous vegetables every day, pack them in, put them in your smoothies, you know, sprout little beans and seeds and, and make sure that you eat healthy. The rest of this stuff is all processed, full of grease, full of salt, and it's just not something you should be eating on a regular basis. Wait, what? Am I about to be forced to agree with that vegan teacher here? Is she not just a mindlessly attacking people for eating meat these days? Is she actually taking into account how the meat is prepared? What is going on? Now, if I'm talking to you directly, Nikocado Avocado, I think you already know. You're not a stupid man. You know what you're doing is evil. Not only are you paying for the, the torture, the confinement, and the murder of so many animals, you are also putting it on display here and consistently telling people how it tastes so good and you are making so many other people unhealthy, and you are causing so much harm. I can't even begin to explain how much harm you're causing. Yeah, okay, snapped back into reality. That didn't last long. I mean, sure, vegan teacher, Nikocado is probably contributing to more animal deaths than the average citizen, but do you realize that you're benefiting just as much as these guys, right? I mean, all of your content is just reviewing people who eat meat. If people didn't eat meat, you wouldn't have a platform. Your livelihood is based off of people eating meat. How do you not see that? So is it even worth it trying to talk to you? Maybe you're listening, maybe you'll get a hold of this video, and if you are, let me remind you that you can change your channel around. You absolutely can. All of this stuff that you have done to get to this space right now, if you look at your comments, and if you look at the way, what people are saying, they're basically saying your channel has become boring, and there's not really much going on. I mean, everyone's just sitting around waiting for you to self-destruct. like. How is this good for you or anyone else? I mean, does anybody have a dictionary? Because I would like to read the definition of irony real quickly. Miss Vegan Teacher, have uh, you ever read your comments? Have you ever looked at your like to dislike ratios? I don't really think you're in a position to talk about another channel having negative feedback. All that you have done to become this huge person who is just a giant joke, you can start to slowly, incrementally change things. It starts by making the declaration that you want to be vegan, that you want to be a good person, you want your legacy here on this planet to be that you, you went down this terrible path, this dark path where you were depressed and cared about making money and, and tons of money, and then you realized that's not really the only thing that's important. All right, so I'm not even gonna comment on her saying that only vegans are good people. I mean, there's really just no point anymore, but I'm starting to kind of get the idea that that vegan teacher does not know that Nikocado used to be vegan? She's sort of talking like she thinks this is how his channel has always been. I don't think she's aware of his origins on YouTube. Now I want you to try to picture this. In one year's time, you could get your weight down, you could be healthy, and you could be an amazing vegan animal defender. 
Now, how do you do that? You have to educate yourself. You have to watch the important documentaries. The first thing you need to do is watch this. Watch Dominion.com. So yeah, to this point, I'm nearly certain that she has no idea that he was a vegan YouTuber for years. I mean, you're not even gonna look back and see how he got to this point. You're just gonna start blindly judging on things that you don't really know about. Yeah, that sounds about right for that vegan teacher. You are allowing the animal holocaust to continue by not speaking out against it, by participating in it, and that needs to change. The animals are suffering by the billions right now, Nick. Billions. They are in true agony. So look, I don't care if you're a vegan activist. I've said it before and I will say it forever. I don't care if you're vegan. I have no issues with vegans. If you make fun of people for being vegan or you attack them for being vegan, you are no better than that vegan teacher and all the people like her. It makes no sense whatsoever to attack somebody for their own dietary choices. But I mean, Miss Katie, do you not think that it's time to maybe try something new? Like you keep on making these disgusting comparisons that you've been making for years. With this same holier-than-thou attitude, if you're not a vegan, you're a terrible person. If you're a good person and if you have a heart, you'll be a vegan. I mean, it was old when you started and it's definitely old now. You're obviously not changing any hearts, so why do you keep doing it? I really don't believe that you're a vegan activist. I think you just want attention. Because if you truly were a vegan activist, then you would be trying to do stuff that made people vegan. They put these baby boy chicks on these giant assembly lines and, and when they check in to see that they're boys they go down a separate path and then they are fall down they fall down they fall down to knives that cut them and shred them into a million pieces just because they were born as boys they are innocent nick nick would you be able to take a little chick a cute little yellow baby boy chick and put him in a blender um, no, that's why I don't work in a factory. But in all seriousness, I feel like she thinks that you can't eat meat and also be against unethical practices. I mean, I like to eat chicken, but I don't support people wasting baby chicks just because they're male. I think there should probably be regulations set where they can't just kill things to make it a little bit easier. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop eating chicken if that's not the case. I'm going to tell you what it's like to be vegan, okay? I want you to picture this. This is what it's like. Being vegan is like trying to rescue drowning animals, desperately pulling them out of the water, one by one, having your friends, family, and everyone around you throwing them back in. Um, no, being vegan is more like seeing that pool of drowning animals and walking past them doing nothing and letting your friends take them out and make them for dinner. That's a better comparison because vegans don't do anything. Literally, their entire message is don't buy animals. I mean, if you were really saving these animals, you'd be going to factory farms, offering them the amount of money they would make by killing them and selling them, and then you would buy them for that amount and then take them to a sanctuary or something. Thing. But simply just not buying meat, sure, if you could get like half the population to do it for 10 years, that would make a difference. But in the short run, all you're gonna do is make meat prices go down because the supply won't adjust for the demand quick enough. So people who like meat are just going to be buying more of it because now it's cheaper. So let's remind everyone in case they don't know. Plants don't feel pain, they don't have a brain, they don't have a nervous system, so it's okay to bite into them, and you have a heart, you know where to start. Share this song and be vegan from now on. So this is kind of an interesting argument, and I'm not against it. Obviously, I eat meat, so I don't have any issue with eating vegetables or anything like that. But this is kind of just a strange thing to say, given that I can't imagine plants want to be eaten. I mean, plants have various methods for spreading their seeds and creating what is essentially offspring for the plant. They can send out chemical distress signals when they're being cut or attacked that shows, at least on some level, the plant understands that it's in 
danger. So I mean, where do you draw the line? Does it have to have a functioning brain or does it just not want to be eaten? Because nothing living on this planet except maybe a parasite wants to be eaten. That is against just the natural way that life forms itself on Earth. Pretty much everything on this planet that is alive has the instinct to try and survive. So where do you draw the line on things not wanting to be eaten? Well, that's pretty much all the video I really want to show you. The rest of it is her just repeating the same nonsense she always repeats. You know, watch this video or you're a terrible person. You have no heart if you've ever had a Big Mac. You know, the same old, same old. So it's just not worth watching again. Nikocado, if you ever managed to see this video for this battle, I'm on your side, buddy. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.